Hello guys, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with Joao Cancelo as Barca are still very calm over the situation of the new signing despite issues with economic lever. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Pablo Gavi as Barca are still working to re-register the midfielder within salary limits to avoid any judicial problems. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. For those who are just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Having everything in place to sign Joao Cancelo on loan from Man City, FC Barcelona are being made to wait due to their unrelenting financial constraints. Barca were expected to receive the 40 million euro payment from German investors Libero Football Fund by the end of today, which would have allowed the club to sign and register Joao Cancelo along with Inaki Pena, potentially. However, the La Liga champions are yet to receive the set payment from Libero, who purchased a part of Barca Vision earlier this month. As such, Javi Miguel reports that the Catalans have indeed run into some issues with the economic lever close to the transfer window. And he further states that the club are already looking into alternative options to resolve the situation as early as possible. This development will most certainly delay Cancelo's arrival at Barcelona, with the Portuguese right back eagerly waiting in his homeland to make the move to La Liga. However, despite that roadblock, Tony Juan Marti have reported Barca are calm over the matter of Cancelo and his imminent arrival. The journalist claims that the Blaugrana have parallelly been working on alternate plans and believe that the issue will be resolved. However, as mentioned above, the operation to bring Joao Cancelo to the club could be delayed for a while longer. Barcelona and Manchester City have everything agreed for the 29-year-old switch to Barca, with the right back set to arrive on a season-long loan deal with a 25 million euro buy option. Both the player and the club are waiting with bated breath for the lever issue to resolve so that the transfer can go through at the earliest possible. Of course, Joao Cancelo finally completed his move two days ago to Barcelona and with the player set to book his flight to Spain to finalize the move, everything was cancelled. And of course, partly because of this, as we have just reported, Barca have been waiting for a 40 million euro cash injection, which so far have not still arrived. Of course, after selling a percentage of the Barca studios, the Catalan Giants have been hoping to get that cash injection so that they can finalize the move, finalize the player's registration, and of course, help the club to get other players, to get Joao Felix, for instance, who is still waiting for Barca to make an offer. Joao Cancelo, of course, is eager to join, but Barcelona are reportedly calm over the whole situation. Because honestly, if things stand this very like if things as things stand, if the window comes to a close without uh, medicals, without the player signing the contract and everything like that, then the transfer will be seen as null and void. But Barca are calm that things will be resolved. Of course, there were some reports earlier saying that if but if push comes to shove, Laporta will go into his own personal account to remove thirty million euros to get this thing sorted out. But I think today, Barca are still waiting to see how far it can go. Um, waiting for the 40 million euro cash injection. But they are reportedly calm that the German investors will give the money. 
by today or at most tomorrow Thursday, which will be the end of this month. But nonetheless, there is optimism that everything will go well as planned as to the draw Cancelo operation. Of course, Cancelo will be coming to strengthen the right back, which has become a huge problem lately. Of course, Barcelona not able to boost off any solid right back for many years since Dani Alves left the club back in 2016. And having Joao Cancelo in our ranks, who have shown his pedigree to becoming a top class right back playing for City, of course, it has been, it is a great, great signing for us. It is one of those signings that have brought some joy into our faces as Barca fans. And hopefully he can come and bring the difference. He can make the difference being the right back as he has been doing for other top clubs in Europe. Of course, Xavi has been engineering for this move for quite a long time. Joao Cancelo being his first choice option. Like with, you know, among many options that Barca have been putting on the table. Of course, finally, we got the man. It will be a loan deal with an option to buy. So it remains to be seen how things will be done to complete this deal any day from now because now they say Joao Cancelo is still in his home country Portugal waiting so anxiously for Barca to give the green light then on to the final story of discussion onlookers have become well acquainted with Barca's difficulties in registering players officially with La Liga as monetary constraints have put Barca in a bit of a pickle now with a club nearing the end of the registration process for the entirety of the squad the club is looking to add a safety net to Gavi's contract. Indeed, according to Sport, Barca are working to re-register Gavi's first team contract within salary limits this summer. This is because the teenage prodigy is currently registered as a result of a precautionary measure that Barca acquired from the court. In the middle of last season, Gavi has registered as was a, was registered as a first team player with the number six shirt owing to precautionary measures obtained from the court. But La Liga came and opposed the move. Shortly after Gavi's registration was completed, the precautionary measure was lifted in the middle of the previous season, forcing the player to revert to wearing the number thirty shirt and going back to his youth contract. Back in the month of June, Barca were once again able to secure court order to register Gavi as first team member and handed him the number 6 kit at the start of the new season. But in order to avoid going through that same limbo again and again, the club are taking no prisoners this time. Barca are attempting to re-register Gavi inside the salary restrictions for this office of this transfer market to avoid any judicial setback or complications later down the line. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.